Hello again, this is Magma WK. Oh my gosh, we are gonna play this. Or I am! Super Highlight. For the Genesis, a remake of Highlight 3. That was a Japanese version. This one actually came out in America. But Magma, are you serious? I am serious. This is a young hero. Who will you will play? So let's watch the background story and learn about the truth. There's not much to learn, really. For those of you curious, I lied. I skipped on purpose. I let Jay handle that. This one is much worse. Mmm, and I shall show you the reasons. Yet it's not that bad at the same time. But bad stuff is going to happen right now. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty bad. Remember, Magma coming out of the ground, this hazardous to people's health. But what about me, Magma? Well... I'm gonna solve that problem. In Fairyland, what the heck? I am not a fairy. I am a human in Fairyland. Oh dear. And it seems like they either forgot to add in some text or just like to confuse us, seriously. Well, at least they approve the music, which is a great cry from the NES. But enough referencing the NES for right now. Let's start. Let's start creating. Well, first of all, let me erase my old files here real quick, so I can get an honest to goodness magma here. Not totally blind. I'm going to use a walkthrough to help me. Because gosh, I'm going to need it. Anyway, I can choose from one of four classes. The warrior, yes. Looking pretty good there. He's actually kind of average. And he can only learn six out of the twelve spells. He got a thief. Why does a thief have more hit points and more strength and dexterity? But he's kind of dumb. He also has no MF. MF stands for moral fiber. More on that later. I could choose the white mage, the priest, who has horrible physical stats, except for life. Pretty good life. And a lot of moral fiber, and can learn any spell in the game. Or, last but not least, monk, who actually has very low life. Average stats, a little bit below average, a little bit below the warrior, and average moral fiber. But he can learn all the spells. So it's a tough decision. I shall be the monk. Because I can always mess this moral fiber later. And well, I'm gonna be extra careful and stay on my opponent's way. And I still want to learn all the spells. I thought about being a thief. But let's start already. Hey there, Magma, how are you doing? And time goes by fast. This is the city of the forest, indeed. But first to know the game, you must know yourself. A lot of the obvious. AP attack hour, AC armor class, agility, how much you can dodge. What the heck? I shall look that up a little bit later, but far more importantly is here handle. I can handle a thousand and Eighty-eight. Oops. What else do I have? Two thousand gold. More on those later. But yes, everything costs you. Return to the city if you feel threatened. That is a good point. I should not fight barehanded. Although monks usually do fight barehanded. 
Not to mention, some people just don't like talking to me. Makes me sad. But Magla, shouldn't you start out with a really powerful weapon like, say... A battle axe or something like that? A battle shield? Or at least a club? A club's too heavy! See, a sling. Perfect ranged weaponry. So I don't have to get close to the enemy. <coughs> He'll borrow me for my sickness. And I don't mean just in the head, either. One moment while I equip myself real quick. Press the C button, then start pressing with the A button. I don't know any magic yet. That's a sling. I should use a sling. I could also increase the game speed. I shall do fast. For now. And as I wander around the town, I talk with friendly people. And friendly people will like to talk to me if I have more fiber. Some of them, on the other hand, think you're weird if you talk with state or strangers. Can't blame them, though. But where am I, anyway? Oh my! Next time, I should bring my checking account with me. I can't open a checking account without a checkbook. Now can I? Indeed you were. But it's almost lunchtime, isn't it? It is almost lunchtime. I should get some food. So let's go in this shop and get some food. Seriously. That's some expensive food though. 220. And I should buy some more food. That'd be a great idea. Anything else I'd like to buy? Well, food is kind of heavy right now. See, if I carry too much weight around, I start slowing down like this. And it becomes very tedious. Well, it is almost 11 o'clock, so I should have a snack. Actually, it might be further on down. Oh my! Step on a crack, break your mother's back. And your own back. So don't step on a crack. Don't use crack. Don't tell that lady she's on crack. And hotels are expensive. Oh my! You don't even have your own home here. When's the last time you spent a thousand dollars on a hotel room? Seriously. Do I have any food? Yes, I do. Oh, there it is. One o'clock. That sound you heard was me eating food. And because I'm light again, I can move decently. Yay! So let's go outside of town and kill my enemies. What are enemies? They're cannibals. Yellow plants, indeed. I shouldn't hurt the tree spirits, though. They're the good guys. What the heck am I? Seriously? Good guys in this game? Slime should die. Because they'll give me experience. And money. But Magma, why aren't you attacking the tr these things? They give out great experience in gold. Well, that in decreases your wall fiber. And well, if you want to be a jackass, that's fine, but... Mmm. That tends to do bad things. Also, I'm severely wounded. I should probably hide back inside the town. How is my moral fiber, anyway? 
I should know myself. My own moral fiber went to zero already. What the heck? It was all, all the way up to 50. Well, stuff happens sometimes. Hmm. So I shall live my days as an evil monk. Unless it turns nighttime. I should try harder to come back alive. Besides people kind of thinking I'm a jerk. Mm-hmm. There'll be random traps that'll appear when your moral fiber's low. Also, thank goodness I finally gained a level. What you do in this game is you trade in experience to level up. I'll need more experience though. That's not all you trade in your experience for. You can trade it in for fabulous prizes. Unless everybody's asleep. Everybody in this town sleeps at 8 p.m. Yes, you can trade in your experience for spells. Isn't this game getting weirder and weirder? But it's nighttime. And nighttime means it's time to party. Also, I'll continue fighting my tree spirits. Because my morale is low, at it, low as it is. Can't get any lower. Couldn't possibly have any ill effects on me. Or could it? Well, it's 11 p.m. And the monsters are coming out to play. I'm trying to get in my town with one hit point left. Indeed. And despite the very high price, I shall go to the inn and sleep. Because you will actually die from lack of sleep. I ain't kidding. It drains your life points and attack power if you do not sleep and do not eat at least four times a day. This game. And when I come back, we'll explore a little bit more and I will hopefully have gr grinded to a decent amount of experience points and money. How do people survive in this game? 